In this TA Tech Tip, we will be introducing the TA Instruments family of horizontal dilatometers, which measure the dimensional changes of a sample as a function of temperature change. Horizontal dilatometers are very easy to use and have the best temperature uniformity. It has three main components. The measuring head is thermally stabilized and has a state-of-the-art LVDT for precise dimensional measurements. It also has an adjustable contact force up to 1 newtons. Sample holder and push rods support the thermocouple and the sample. And the modular furnace that is easier to change to cover the widest temperature range. Now we will talk about the differences between the models. The DIL-801 is a single sample dilatometer which is used for routine thermal expansion evaluations. The DIL-802 is a true differential dilatometer with two push rods. One is for the sample itself and the other one contacts an inert material which subtracts the system expansion. This provides for increased accuracy and reduced reliance on system calibration. The DIL-802 can also be converted to run as a DIL-801. The DIL-803 is a dual sample dilatometer. With two LVDTs, it can run two samples at the same time for high productivity and throughput. It can also be converted to an 802 for true differential measurements. All horizontal dilatometers can be run in air, inert gas, or vacuum atmosphere. There are five types of measuring systems available for horizontal dilatometers. Fused silica is used for temperatures from minus 160 degrees C to 700 degrees C. Aluminum oxide or sapphire from room temperature to 1750 degrees C. Tungsten from room temperature to 2000 degrees C. And graphite from room temperature to 2300 degrees C. Temperatures from minus 160 degrees C to 2300 degrees C are available using modular furnace types. Temperature resolution of 0.05 to 0.1 degrees C is typical depending on the atmosphere. All TA Instruments horizontal dilatometers are extremely sensitive, accurate and precise, with length resolution as low as 10 nanometers and CT resolution well below one part per million per degree. In this TA Tech Tip, we discuss the differences in the TA family of horizontal dilatometers. Stay tuned for more tech tips on how to set up your dilatometer for an experiment.